left cross of alignment, the sketch of life. I'm not your typical post baby boomer, nor Gen X, and I am not a millennial. I, however, have the capacity to understand people through their design, as I have qualities of finding patterns and synthesizing ideas. When I see a person, I don't see identity or definition. I see a soul. I see a potential for evolution. I see hope. I see freedom. I feel I have the capacity to connect deeply with humans when it is appropriate and when the other human is open to it. I love to invest time in one-on-one -on -one or small group relationships. I love to connect with my heart. I love to nurture and support all values. I also know when others take advantage of my design, when they fear my power, when they try to fit me into tight definitions. For a long time, I felt like an outsider until at some point I stopped looking to belong. I am my own person and I found my way in the flux of it all. I'm a very grateful person, especially because on a couple of occasions, I found myself close to the emptiness one can feel when despair arises and makes you numb or too depressed to move, or with dark thoughts of not being willing to be here at all. I'm also fortunate to follow instincts and intuition. I could hurt at times. I use those times to practice. I have learned to turn anger into gold, fear into courage, turn ire into the fire that serves as an ignition for creative fields. I am learning to accept sadness as a vessel of grace. I have learned to be at peace with my heart. I am no longer on the victim boat. I stay humble by asking younger earthlings to show me their ancestral wisdom. Holding onto knowledge in a hierarchical ladder is hoarding and creating more separation. Positioning oneself as a guru or sole authority without recognizing the weight and appreciation a teacher should have for the students is anathema. Quote, God in a dream illumined the animal's brutishness as he understood the reasons and accepted his destiny. But when he awoke, there was only a dark resignation, a valiant ignorance for the machinery of the world is too far too complex for the simplicity of a wild beast. Years later, Dante was dying in Ravenna, as unjustified, as lonely as any other man. In a dream, God declared to him the secret purpose of his life and work. Dante, in wonderment, knew at last who and what he was and blessed the bitterness of his life. Upon waking, he felt that he had received and lost an infinite thing, something that he would not be able to recuperate or even glimpse, for the machinery of the world is much too complex for the simplicity of a man. Jorge Luis Borges, Dream Tigers. Volition. I'm not here to steer you, to guide you, to take you to another land, for I'm not a shepherd, nor the leader who governs you. I'm here with my cross of alignment to support your transition in this liminal place. I know that I can spur and activate a projection, a mirror, or a surface for you to know thyself. I know I have the duration that lasts many lifetimes to support survival toward a state of thriving awareness. I am becoming conscious of knowing when to retreat, when my needs are no longer flowing in the right principles that meet the sensitivity of what is needed. I have the determination to digest when and how the will should be assertive and loyal to a clan or a tribe. I know how to forgive if I can discern from tolerance to surrendering as my doubts lead me to a truth that will integrate inner queries. I know that as long as I don't nurture my sacred energy first, I will deplete it fully and will start adapting to a non-self journey without a cauldron that can keep the nutrients from evaporating. I know my willpower is so strong, it inspires but also feels like a threat to others who feel they need to compete with it. So please don't. I know that part of my cross is to remind you all to explore and to be curious as you practice and you find your way in the emotional platform that spins you into revolutions. I know that my integrity is what makes me flow and align with the magnetism that spins me to evolve all time, finding the rhythm as it generates a state of flow. Completing tasks or initiating at times seems like an objective as I pursue with discipline and focus, trying to convey what I perceive as abstractly as I can to create metaphors 
that will in turn inspire or connect beings to their own evolution. My determination is solid and hopeful. As I learn to trust my sense of smell that guides my primal instinct to connect to the right fractal so the resources are turned into individual powerful experiences. From the top of the mountain through my inner vision, as passive and receptive, I sense and feel deeply. Having no specific direction, I adapt and choose where to be. When I retreat, I do so to gain perspective and synthesize the experience. The joy and optimism I emit are true at the moment because I have a way to search for better things. I am not afraid of confrontations with darkness or fear. And in the past years, I have integrated many, many broken pieces. I am a walking mosaic, only reflecting back the beauty of your own soul. I say, revolved. Pluto just crossed the line into zero Aquarius. The only thing I will say today it is that I'm ready to live fully as always. I was born in the spring in, of 1964. Pluto was in Virgo and Uranus was in a balsamic dissolving relationship with Pluto. That it's felt like a Piscean Neptunian in quality. I'm not afraid to try new venues nor afraid to confront. What is the worst thing that could happen? Revolution or evolution. I have lived a life prepared for this moment. My chart is ruled by Uranus as my ascendant in Aquarius prompts me to initiate in new territories at all times. Since Uranus is at the end of my seventh house, I know that to individuate, I must confront my shadows. Have you listened to the podcast where I go deep into the shadow work yet? I'm going to leave a link again. These descriptions above, my friends, are my human design talking through me. I run small study groups where we practice live. I can serve as a temporary portal of alignment for the truth it is within you. Enjoy. The Pluto run cycle is long. The next conjunction will be in 2004, exactly on my birthday, at the end of April at my Taurus Sun and Mercury 6 to 7 degree, while Venus and Ceres are on my natal Jupiter. I won't be alive then, but it feels so good that I carry that frequency. Yes. In the meantime, we have felt it while Uranus was in Scorpio, mid-late 70s till 1981. These folks are going through their Uranus opposition, also known as midlife crisis, when one can liberate from the Saturnian conditioning. This event prepares us for the Chiron return at age 50, 51, ripe and ready to flow. Pluto and Aquarius will start squaring all the millennials born at the end of 83 now for the next 20 years. So. Some folks born between 1937 and 56 will feel the position too. Good times. Thank you. Have a great week. <laughs>